We're going through, we're about to do some new stuff. What's going on, guys? Let's see. No, no. Friends, today we have a very special caller. Breaking important news right here, because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, Joe. When you were publishing the bugle, you were always fair to me. Tom, sure, but nice. fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops over <coughs> uh -oh. I can't Fair name enough. it Silver until the Sable. contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. That's well, that sounds for, terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law. Just augmenting them in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here. So I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind. Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it. Don't care. <laughs> okay. Oh, Spider Man, you are Prince. But just found Vanessa in the law. <laughs> Love the names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Cancer, you know. Howard, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life for living, not moving. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself of that every now and again. Okay. Keep looking, will you? Finding the rest of these birds would really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. Okay. So this place is moving for Howard. I didn't realize that. Was he talking to himself? Ooh, Mr. Reed. Hey, doctor. Hello. Peter, I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. I could 3D print a web shooter. I can't believe I've never tried that. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement, connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. Mm -hmm. But what if instead we gave people something they've never seen? Whoa. Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with and instead unleash the awesome power of our minds. Mm. See the 
these puzzles. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Let's see. No. Candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like Sorry, we can do better. Guys, I got a stuffy nose. Let's see. Oh. Hmm, graphene, but the structure is super unique. What is this? Structural element for a prosthetic. Doc's messing around with superconductors.
Oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Some kind of polymer. Dun 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 Healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Damn it! Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. <coughs> In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. First day I interviewed here. 
Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Huh. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then, it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. Aim is like not a good sign. But this Aim time is going to be different. Or bad in the comics. <coughs> You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay. I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. 
But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work, don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let me let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? Nice. I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. <laughs> Missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything <coughs> else effortless to use, we'll have bailed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. There we go. Logic controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. So, I need to do, yeah. Board on the car. Oh. I go. Go three and three.
know it. These things are awesome. So much more versatile. Simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Welcome to the future. You got two points. So be uh Yeah, you know the prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. And a little creepy. <laughs> Doc dove right in with the intracranial interface. Okay, that's a right three points no matter what. I'm gonna do two more no matter what. I'm gonna get one of these. Oh no, I get it. the hell? I'm gonna get one of these, yes. Da, 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 da. Revolutionary, but not a hundred percent stable. We need to refine this design. Uh -huh. What's that? It's what? Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. 
Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. Was definitely, uh, AIM is down with this Sinister Six. That seems like some Sinister Six type of scenario. They're the ones in prison. Needle seems like something for maybe Scorpion. The arm it seems like something for Rhino, maybe, I don't know. I couldn't be wrong. Sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. The offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. <laughs> Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Nice. Well, that's enough for me. See you guys.